All six major types of field effect transistors have the same current voltage relationships with different parameters. There are essentially two regions of operation. One is where the channel is not completely pinched off, and the other is where it is. There are two voltages that influence whether a channel is pinched off or not. They are the gate to source voltage and the drain to source voltage. And they create the gate to drain voltage that pinches off the channel. The channel gets pinched off between the drain and the gate when the drain to gate voltage exceeds a particular value known as VGS off in general. Increasing the drain to source voltage does not further increase the drain current, making the drain current essentially a voltage controlled current source, which is controlled solely by the gate to source voltage. This region of operation is known as saturation or beyond pinch off. The other region of operation, known as triode or linear or ohmic, where the IV relationship is more complicated, <clears throat> is given by the equation IV equals K times the quantity 2 VGS minus V threshold, or V, uh, I guess I should call it VGS off in general. And uh, here's the equation down here. K times 2 times VGS minus VGS off, that quantity times VDS minus VDS squared. If we look up here, you see a 3D plot of an N-channel enhancement mode MOSFET IV characteristic. If you look at over here, we have the drain current going up. We have the gate to source voltage starting out here um, and increasing in this direction. The gate to source voltage where the gate actually, I mean the drain actually starts conducting current is known as the VGS off voltage or for an enhancement mode MOSFET as the V threshold voltage or VT for short. In this case VT is 2 volts. In this direction, uh, uh, going over to the right here, we have the drain to source voltage. And if you notice over in this region of, 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 of the IV characteristic, those curves for ID are flat, irregardless of what the drain to source voltage is. Over here in the triode or ohmic or uh, linear region, it is a function of the drain to source voltage and the gate to source voltage and so it's a more complicated relationship. Let's try and understand how this uh, works by looking at a junction field effect transistor. So here we have uh, a JFET. This is an N-channel JFET, so the channel right here is N-type, and the gate, which you can kind of think of this as a uh, cylindrical uh, cross-section of a cylindrical thing where the gate kind of wraps around like a belt. The gate is P, P-type material. And in general, we reverse bias this, um, this gate material. So VGS here would normally be negative. The maximum we would ever put it would be zero. And this picture right here shows it with VGS equals zero. And there's a little yellow depletion region right along the edge here between the channel, which is the center part, and the gate part right here. And that's not very, uh, very thick. However, if we take and we make VGS um, approximately a V threshold, which is a negative value, it's reverse biasing this PN junction right here so much so that the whole channel is just completely depletion region. This is what we call cutoff. This field effect transistor is 
is reverse biased in so so much that we call it it's in the cutoff region. Now, <clears throat> it, in this case and in this case, notice the drain to source voltage was set to zero. If we now change uh, our pattern of operation here and we put uh, the drain to source voltage to be some positive number and the gate to source voltage still approximately zero here. Uh, so what will happen is the drain voltage as you raise it up the drain is a positive at a positive potential and the gate is about at zero and so as you make the drain voltage increase here by increasing the drain to source voltage you make the drain to gate voltage a little bit greater than zero and you notice the depletion region right here gets fatter toward the top toward the drain this is with uh, uh, you know VDS positive here but not too positive now if I make VDS much bigger here I've still got VGS is off if I make VDS big enough so that the gate to drain voltage is approximately VGS off or greater then as you notice here the depletion region up by the uh, the drain is completely all the way across the transistor and when that happens even if you increase VDS here the current will remain at the same value like a current source that's kinda what we saw over here see the current remains at a constant value even when we increase the drain to source voltage here. And, and this one right here is now in the beyond pinch off region. This guy over here was in the triode ohmic or linear region. So let's uh, quickly go down here and look at, at the equations for this kind of a, a situation. In triode region, the equation is given right here. ID equals a constant K times this big quantity. 2 times the difference between VGS and VGS off. And then that's multiplied by the drain to source voltage minus the drain to source voltage squared. This is actually a family of parabolas. Now, what I'd like to do is I would like to find the value of the drain current right here in the beyond pinch off region by simplifying this equation that you see right here which is valid everywhere over here in the triode region but at this point right here this is the border between triode and beyond pinch off on the blue line here at this point the gate to drain voltage was big enough so that it pinched off the channel. What I mean by that is the gate to drain voltage is equal to VGS minus VDS and the gate to drain voltage is equal to VGS off here. So if you take this, this equation, VGS minus VDS equals VGS off, and you solve it for VDS, then you get VGS minus VGS off. And if I plug that equation, this guy right here, back in right here and right here for VDS, because as you notice over here, it doesn't matter what VDS is. VDS um, the ID is the same value you get right along the border. So if I evaluate it right at the border and I say ID is that same thing, regardless of what VDS is, I will have the equation for ID over here and beyond pinch off. So doing that, plugging this guy in for VDS here and here, yields this equation, ID equals K times the quantity VGS minus VGS off squared. And the border that's the this blue line right here that border actually occurs if you take this equation right up here and uh, you just take and replace um, VGS minus VGS off with VDS here um, and that will give you the value of it at the border and so you will just get K times VDS squared right there that's 
That's the equation right along the border of ID as a function of VDS. And, and notice this border is also a parabola. This is the set of family of parabolas. You know, normally they would keep on going down over here, but that is not correct. This, that part of the equation is not correct. It only works up to the, the apex of the parabola. So over here, these are a family of parabolas. Over here, these are a family of flat lines that are <clears throat> a function of VGS, and it's a parabolic curve of VGS. Let me just show you how that works. That's back up here. So in the beyond pinch-off region, we have, we have basically um, six types of MOSFETs. And uh, we've got them uh, labeled down here uh, as well. I'll show you uh, um, basically uh, what's going on. This, this chart gives us all the, the signs of the parameters and what they are. For, for field effect transistors that are junction field effect transistors, it's, it's customary to call the VGS off value VP for B pinch off. And uh, that would go for N or P types. Um, the the uh, K is normally written as a function of IDSS, uh, as IDSS over V pinch off squared. IDSS is the value of ID where VGS equals zero, the, that it uh, asymptotically approaches. If we look it up here, um, we can see that. Uh, you aren't going to make, um, on, a, on an N-channel JFET here, you're not going to make uh, VGS positive, so it gets up to this maximum value, IDSSN. And for a P-channel JFET, it goes down to IDSSP. And for a P-channel JFET, the pinch-off value is, is positive. For a N-channel JFET, the pinch-off value is negative and VGS goes usually from that value up to zero. And for a P-channel JFET, it would go from uh, this pinch-off value back towards zero. In the current, is always positive in an N-channel device and negative in a P-channel device. Now, those are these two uh, field effect transistors, junction field effect transistors, but we also have MOSFETs. And there are two kinds of MOSFETs. The most common type is the enhancement MOSFETs down here. Um, these, these ones right here are enhancement mode MOSFETs. Uh, this is an N-channel enhancement mode MOSFET, and that's a P-channel enhancement mode MOSFET. Notice that the arrow points in the direction from P to N, so the channel here is N, the bulk is P. Over here the channel is P, the bulk is N. And on these JFETs, of course, the arrow does the same thing. This is an N-channel device, and it's pointing from P, the gate is P, to the channel, which is N. And the opposite is the case, is the case down here with the P-channel JFET. Um, enhancement mode MOSFETs actually require you to build an inversion layer. That means you need to change what is, in this case, uh, a P-type uh, Oh no, this is a, I'm sorry, a, a normally and it points from N to P. So this is an N, N um, layer right here, but you need to create an inversion layer. So you want to make this P right along here. Notice these little dashed lines on the channel. That means there's no channel there when you have VGS equals zero. But if you take the gate, you can uh, put a negative charge on the gate, a very negative charge like over here by putting a negative voltage like this blue one right here if you put a negative enough voltage there you will you will induce an inversion layer and make a, a P channel right along the oxide right there and you have created a P channel enhancement mode MOSFET which would have this kind of a characteristic curve and beyond pinch off and <clears throat> the opposite is kind of true for the N channel device here the N channel device is normally P uh, there, but when you when you take and make your gate very positive, as in the red diagram here, you will uh, induce an inversion layer right along here and make a channel. 
and, and then you will have conduction. As you can see, the current goes up here. Now, depletion mode devices are very similar to JFETs. They essentially are just the same as JFETs, except that you can actually make VGS positive for an N-channel device or negative for a P-channel device.